The Indian Light Combat Aircraft LCA, Tejas represents the epitome of India's aerospace engineering prowess and strategic autonomy in defense technology. This indigenously developed supersonic multi-role fighter jet embodies decades of dedicated research, development, and collaboration, spearheaded by the Aeronautical Development Agency ADA, and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Its journey from conception to operational deployment reflects a tale of resilience, innovation, and strategic foresight culminating in its induction into the Indian Air Force IAF, in 2016. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more fascinating stories about India's cutting-edge defense technology and aviation advancements, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching. The genesis of the LCA Tejas can be traced back to the vision and dedication of several key individuals. Among them, Valampe Dugai Srinivasa Raghavan Arunakalam stands out. Born in a small southern Indian village, Arunakalam's fascination with aeroplanes as a child set the foundation for his future contributions to India's defense capabilities. Rising from a family of farmers, he pursued a career in science, eventually becoming the head of India's Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO, from 1982 to 1992. His memoir, From Temples to Turbines and Arunakalam's early education in solid-state physics and metallurgy, combined with his research at the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore and the Atomic Energy Establishment Trombi, AET, in Mumbai, equipped him with the expertise needed for his future role. His tenure at DRDO saw significant strides in indigenous defense technologies, including the development of the LCA, intended to replace the aging MiG-21 fighters. The development of the LCA Tejas was fraught with challenges. Initial resistance came from the Soviet Union, which expressed skepticism about India's capability to develop a sophisticated fighter jet independently. This skepticism was encapsulated in a remark by Soviet Defense Minister Dmitry Ustinov, who mocked that India would end up flying a kite instead of an LCA. Furthermore, the withdrawal of French support midway through the project added to the difficulties. Despite these setbacks, the project persevered under the leadership of Arunakalam and Kota Hari Narayanan, the program director and chief designer. The turning point came when the United States agreed to collaborate, providing critical technology and support. However, this collaboration faced a temporary setback after India's 1998 Pakhran nuclear tests, which led to international sanctions. Undeterred, Indian scientists developed the LCA's avionics and radar systems indigenously. The maiden flight of the Tejas on January 4, 2001, marked a significant milestone breaking the high-technology ceiling of aerospace systems. Over the next two decades, the Tejas underwent rigorous testing, accumulating over 2,000 hours of flight, and the Indian Air Force eventually placed an order for 120 aircraft. The Tejas is a testament to India's technological capabilities. Its design incorporates advanced aerodynamics, including a tailless compound delta-wing configuration optimized for maneuverability and agility. The aircraft's airframe, primarily constructed from carbon fiber composites, enhances its stealth features by minimizing radar signature. This construction also contributes to the aircraft's lightweight and structural integrity, reducing susceptibility to fatigue-induced cracks. One of the standout features of the Tejas is its glass cockpit, which replaces traditional electromechanical instruments with multifunction displays (MFDs) and a head-up display (HUD). This modern cockpit design simplifies aircraft operation and navigation, allowing pilots to focus on critical information. The Tejas is equipped with a fly-by-wire system, replacing manual flight controls with an electronic interface. This system enhances the aircraft's stability and maneuverability, translating pilot inputs into precise actions. Additionally, the Tejas is capable of carrying a wide range of weaponry, including air-to-air, -air, air-to-surface, and precision-guided munitions, making it a versatile multi-role fighter. The evolution of the Tejas continued with the development of the Tejas MK-1A, an advanced version featuring numerous upgrades. 
the Tejas MK-1A conducted its first successful test flight on March 28, 2024, and is expected to be delivered to the IAF by July 2024. This variant incorporates over 40 improvements, including an advanced electronically scanned array AESA, radar, an upgraded electronic warfare suite, and enhanced maintenance features. The Tejas MK-1A boasts a new AESA radar developed by Israel, which will eventually be replaced by the indigenously developed UTOM AESA radar. This radar can track multiple targets over a range of more than 200 kilometers, providing a 360-degree view of the aircraft's surroundings. The MK-1A also includes new avionics, processors, and display systems, enhancing situational awareness and combat capabilities. The Tejas MK-1A will have nine hardpoints for carrying a variety of weapons, including beyond visual range, BVR, missiles and air-to-ground munitions. Its enhanced aerodynamics and fly-by-wire system improve maneuverability, while the addition of a self-protection jammer pod allows for effective electronic warfare. The next step in the evolution of the Tejas is the Tejas MK-2, also known as the medium-weight fighter, MWF. This variant features a larger airframe, close-coupled canards, and a more powerful engine, addressing the shortcomings of the earlier versions. The MK-2 is designed to replace multiple strike fighters in the IAF, including the Sepikat Jaguar, Dassault Mirage 2000, and Mikoyan MiG-29. The Tejas MK-2 will incorporate advanced technologies, including an integrated infrared search and track IRST, system and a higher indigenous content, reaching up to 90% after the licensed production of its engine. The development of the MK-2 aims to create a versatile fighter with enhanced combat capabilities and greater operational range. On March 12, 2024, a Tejas aircraft from the NO. 18 Squadron crashed in Rajasthan, marking the first such incident since its induction into the IAF. Fortunately, the pilot ejected safely, and the IAF quickly initiated an investigation to determine the cause of the crash. This incident, while a setback, underscores the rigorous testing and continuous improvement necessary to maintain flight safety and operational readiness. Exposed Vulnerabilities of Indian Aircraft Tejas The Indian Aircraft Tejas, once envisioned as a symbol of indigenous defense production, has faced setbacks in international sales. Recently, Malaysia joined Egypt in refusing to purchase the Tejas, citing concerns about its viability, durability, and reliability. These rejections have raised questions about India's defense production capabilities and highlighted vulnerabilities in the Tejas aircraft. This rejection has raised doubts about the competitiveness and technological advancements of the Tejas in the global market. Both Egypt and Malaysia expressed concerns about the durability and reliability of the Tejas. Military aircraft must withstand rigorous operational requirements, including combat scenarios and harsh environments. Any doubts about an aircraft's durability and reliability can significantly impact its credibility and marketability. The objections raised by Egypt and Malaysia indicate a need for improvements in these areas for the Tejas. The journey of the LCA Tejas from concept to reality is a story of perseverance, innovation, and national pride. It reflects India's commitment to self-reliance in defense technology and its ability to overcome challenges through indigenous research and development. The Tejas, with its advanced capabilities and ongoing evolution, stands as a testament to India's aerospace engineering prowess and strategic foresight. As the Tejas continues to evolve with the MK-1A and MK-2 variants, it not only strengthens India's defense capabilities but also positions the country as a significant player in the global aerospace industry. The rejection of the Tejas by Egypt and Malaysia has raised broader concerns about India's defense production industry. The focus on the aircraft's vulnerabilities has underscored the challenges in achieving international market success for indigenous defense products. The legacy of the Tejas project is not just about a fighter jet, it is about the realization of a national dream and the promise of continued innovation and excellence in the years to come. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.